In this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily embed multiple closed caption files or subtitles into a video so that you can play the video with the captions on or off, enabling you to choose the language of the file that you want to watch the subtitles in. This is applicable if you are distributing your content to different areas of the world or regions or locations of the world where people speak different languages. You can easily see this uh, with uh, Netflix. The videos on Netflix have about close to 50 subtitle files per, let's say for maybe a series or something. And uh, here's an example of what I'm trying to say in this. And this can be seen in the TV show Wu Assassin. Uh, and they have a ton of subtitle files to choose from. So basically, in this video, that's what I'm going to show you how to do. I'll use the video that I used in the previous tutorial, and that is the video on how to easily download YouTube subtitles as transcripts. So basically, I'll just drag it into this, and if you and if you haven't watched my video uh, on embedding a single caption file, you can go to the previous video, and I'll link it in the card above, so that you can watch how you can do that for a single file. Now, basically, it's loaded into Handbrake. Uh, and we'll just go through the same uh, process. I'll go to general to save our preset, 720p and 30 frames per second. And once I do that, I'll just come to subtitles. Now, this is the only tricky part when it comes to embedding different language files into a video file. Now, you need to know the character encoding. So basically, what I'll do for this video, although I have subtitle files for Arabic, I think this is German or Danish, uh, uh, Spanish, this is uh, Farsi, uh, this is French, this is Hindi, this is Italian. Although I have all these caption files, I'll just work with the caption files that I am sure will show. For example, I know the Japanese language has special character encoding. Now, if I click on that and I click on open, I am not 100% sure, and as I mentioned in the previous video, this is very wrong. We should be at least seeing the whole title of the file that we just loaded. I'm not so sure. I'll just choose the language, J, press on J, that's Japanese, but I'm not so sure about the character encoding. And this is what really matters when you're embedding this. If I don't know the character encoding, what will happen is that, yes, the subtitle file will be embedded into the video, but it will come out with different shapes and sizes of boxes that mean nothing to the viewer. So this will just like be wasted chances and opportunities. So just know the character encoding for the language that you want to add the subtitle for. So basically I'll just uh, remove this and just come back to import. And the first file that I'll, I'll begin with is the English file the one that we added in the previous uh, tutorial just click on open and since I know it's an English file UTF-8 I'll just go back click on import and then for this one I'll choose a French subtitle and just click on open and come and select a French F let's see Francais and I know the character encoding is UTF-8 so I have nothing to worry about there uh, and then I'll come import again and I go to let's, let's do Portuguese and click on open now basically I have three files that I want to embed into my video file and you can do this for a lot of files that you have and export uh, the files the way you want them to but remember you need to know the character encoding and uh, for this one this is a Portuguese file I need to select Portuguese so we go, I think it's somewhere down here, Portuguese. Now we have the English, French and Portuguese. So this is very important. And then I'll just come and click on browse to navigate to the folder I want to save the file and click embed, embedding multiple closed caption files in a video and click on save. Now once I click on save, there's nothing else I'm supposed to do is just click on start encoding 
and obviously as uh, we looked in uh, the recent uh, video is that this process can take a short time or a long time it's saying about two minutes and what I'll do is that I'll just speed up the process so that I can show you the final output and once the video uh, is done encoding once the video is done encoding it will give you the queue finished uh, notification down there uh, and nothing uh, is going on so I'll just minimize this and navigate back to a folder and uh, I want to play this video which uh, reads embedding multiple closed caption files in a video and this uh, file will play in VLC media player so just double click on it now pause it and right click as we did in the previous video and check out the subtitle tracks that we have we have three subtitle tracks and I'll click the first one with the recent update on now and pause the video right click again come to the subtitle select the subtitle track 2 which is the French the YouTube interface it's now easier than before to download YouTube I believe that's French and then go to uh, the last subtitle file that uh, we added the Portuguese tube transcripts hi my name is David so I believe uh, this really corresponds to the language that is being spoken and as you can see if you decide to disable the subtitle track from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never stop learning you can play the video without the subtitle track but if you have the need to have the uh, subtitles on for the different languages that you've added then you can turn them on or off this is something that is very very advantageous especially when uh, you want to uh, watch a video with the subs on or off or when you want to enjoy the content of a video uh, without having the permanent uh, captions on because sometimes you may be watching the video on the subway uh, in your public means of transport and you just want to have the ability to have the captions on or off or if you have a client that wants subtitles that are easily turned on or off for their movie or you want to enjoy a movie on TV that supports closed captioning uh, basically you can use Handbrake to embed multiple caption files into the video so basically that's all you have to do the only thing I've uh, pointed out is that once you add or import the SRT file for example if it's Arabic I know that uh, the Arabic language has special character encoding so if you click on that and unfortunately we don't get uh, to know what file is here and uh, Handbrake doesn't recognize these automatically I know this is Arabic Arabic but the only issue now comes in when you have to choose the character encoding uh, you need to know the character encoding beforehand so that whatever you prepare as your final output really corresponds to what is required thank you so much for watching this video in the next video I will show you how you can extract or rip a subtitle track from a video and I mean the way we've embedded not a permanently added subtitle or burnt in subtitle I want to show you how you can easily extract or repeat from the movie so that you can either make adjustments or just use it for your own benefit thank you so much for watching and until next time never stop learning thank you